All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome to our channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about our brand new Lexus RX 350. It's a 2017 that we bought from my wife. And um, we bought this car, it has a lot of bells and whistles. So I wanna go over a lot of features that this car has that you might not know. So I picked out 10 features that we're gonna go over. And um, so feature number one, is gonna be the trunk. So you can open uh, the trunk obviously with a button inside the car. You can open it with your fob on your key. And then, uh, and then the other feature, you have to have the key in your um, pocket. You come up, put your hand, let go, and then it opens. A lot of cars have that feature where you just come up uh, and kick underneath the trunk and it'll open. I personally like that feature better because yeah, when you have uh, your hands full of groceries, just come up, kick, and then it opens. This one's a little bit difficult. You have to kind of put your elbow um, to wave it, but Still a nice feature, a lot of people do not know, so I did not know about that. Um, so feature number two is gonna be the trunk, uh, the hatch, the angle of how it opens. So as you can see, this is pretty standard. This is opened up all the way, wide open. Now for my wife, this would be a little too tall. She's, she's a little bit shorter, so she won't be able to reach this button. She'd have to be really stretching to reach that. So what you can do, you can click this button right here. It'll close and then you stop it. So right here, this is the preset that I want. What I do is just hold this button it beeps, there you go. So now it's preset to this height. I'll close it. And then we'll just double check, make sure that that angle is not all the way open. Yep, that's correct. I'm gonna click on this button right here. Right here. And then I'm gonna go here, scroll, until I see the little gear. That's your wheel, uh, vehicle settings. Right there, I'm gonna go down to vehicle settings. And then as you can see, it's called PBD. Click on that and I can just system opening adjustment. I can adjust how I want that lid to open. So it's got multiple settings. So it's got five, that's the highest, four, three, two, one. So you can see that three is highlighted. That's what it's set to. So I'm gonna go back to four. I'll hit this. Now it's preset to four. All right guys, so feature number three is actually one of my favorites. Um, so I can start my car lock unlock with just my smartphone so um, all you need for this is just the um, download the Lexus app so I'm gonna open that I have that installed um, and then as you can see it's gonna show you a bunch of information about your car so this is what I currently have at the odometer uh, my fuel tank how many uh, miles left until empty and then if I have any like uh, any recalls any alerts it's gonna show me anything it's gonna show me all my uh, health information It's gonna show me where the car is located right now so it's actually really cool now in order to start the car with the phone, I have to have all the doors locked. So if I hit this start, tap and hold. So as you can see, uh, the car was not able to start because all the uh, doors are open. So it's asking, do you want to lock the doors? And then we can try that command again. So I'm going to hit yes. Now what it's going to do is it's going to try and lock the doors. Okay. So as you can see, it's getting ready to start. And it started. Now after it's going to be started, it's gonna pop up a little window, the car has been started, and it's gonna tell me that the car will be started for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, the car will automatically shut off. Just come up to the car. You, you unlock the door, but it always automatically shuts off the engine. So, pretty cool feature, I really do like it. Really nice when it's a snowy day, uh, the car is outside, hit that, um, that button, and it'll stop for you. All right guys, so feature number four, this car comes up with a lot of hidden compartments. So, I'm gonna show you all the hidden compartments. There's one over here that's hidden, so you have this, um, I guess glove box and then underneath you have you can pick up this whole glove box and behind there's even a deeper Compartment now people keep their manuals in here Comes with a big old manual. You can do that you have this other compartment. This one's pretty visible um, It's just sometimes kind of hard at night to find that button But you push this button and you get this little compartment. It's not as deep, but you can put a lot of stuff I keep my keys in there um, And then right here in the trunk. Let me open up the trunk It's this mat right here if I fold this I lift this where the spare is. We have this really nice session compartment. Also, you can put a bunch of stuff, either tools, um, any valuables, but for the gun, you know, if you want to keep the gun there um, to be safe, you could put your ammo in here. Um, if you're going hunting, it's nice and safe. So really good, um, really good feature there. So, so don't forget about this. Okay, so before we get back into the video on all the features, I'm going to do a quick product review on this. Uh, it's called a Swift Jet Car Foam Sprayer. Uh, so this is a perfect timing. The car is kind of filthy dirty right now after all the snow that we've had. This is also by uh, Swift Jet. It's a wheel detail brush. So um, let's give it a shot and see how this works. All right guys, so this is what's included in the product. Uh, so you have this uh, Swift Jet car foam with the reservoir. So this on the spins. Uh, the, so today we're gonna be using, 
Oh, it's got a little warranty card. We're gonna be using uh, the Chemical Guys uh, Snow Foam Auto Wash. So I'm just gonna put a few drops in here and then uh, the rest will be water. Squeeze some in, not too much. We don't, we don't want this to be too foamy. And then, so I have, so this also comes in with the product. So just like a regular, um, you know, sprayer. And then I'm gonna spray some water there. Oh, oh, oh too much. So, so that's that. And then I'm gonna put this, spin this guy in to the reservoir. Then this guy right here, you're just gonna pull back. Just like that. Okay, so then the other piece is this, um, this is pretty much like your nozzle. So we just pop in just like this. Well then it also comes with this hand brush. So as you spray, you can wash it. Okay, all right, well let's give it a test. See how this thing works. It's not gonna be like a very tight jet, but the purpose here is to, um, you know, spray water along with soap. All right, so we're gonna try this out, see how this works. So I'm gonna spray with this. Give it some nice rinse. Okay, and let's brush away. It's like music. Hear that? Oh, actually, it's actually really nice because it like fits in these like very, very narrow holes. So now we got everything wiped. It's all washed. Now all I have to do is just pull this guy back, pull out the reservoir, and rinse away. Just like that. Pretty easy. So it's called the Swift Jet Car Foam Sprayer. And then it comes with this brush for the hand, the nozzle for the hose, and then this is a separate product itself. This is the uh, rim uh, cleaner. Really good brush, so check it out. All right, well, let's get back to the video. All right, so guys, the next five uh, features that we have here are gonna be your safety features, and these are all offered with the 2017 Lexus RX 350. Um, so first one is gonna be the LKA. So what this is, this is this feature, um, it's the center trace on off. So what it does, um, it'll keep your steering wheel um, in lane. So if you're swerving, what it's gonna do, it's gonna alert you. It'll either vibrate or it'll make an alert. You can set the sensitivity, you can have a, a high standard. Um, there's a lot of, I guess, uh, different, you can have this warning um, on. So what this does, if you have this warning on, sway warning, after so many, um, I guess, vibrations on your signal, it's gonna give you a uh, warning that you need to take a, take a break. So very good feature to have when you're doing um, road trips or uh, just traveling. You know. The next one is gonna be the PCS. So this guy right here, this is the pre-collision system. Um, really good thing to have on. I, I don't know why people turn this off. Uh, you can set the sensitivity um, to low, medium, high. I have it usually on medium. This is really good. I've actually used this in the past, um, not intentionally, but um, I was driving and got distracted and uh, there was a car for me that just all of a sudden um, started braking really quickly and the Lexus pre-collision system worked real well. It braked for me. It actually gave me a warning right away, but I wasn't able to take action right away. So what it did, it braked uh, for me. So uh, very good uh, safety feature to have. And then we have the BSM. So a lot of cars come with this. Uh, this is the blind spot monitor. Um, so the way it works, I'm pretty sure you guys all know, is when you're, uh, you have your blinker on, you wanna go to the next lane and there's a car in your blind spot, what it's gonna do is gonna warn you. Um, so that's a really good feature to have always on. And then the other one is the RCA, RCTA. What this is, this is the rear cross traffic alert. So when you're driving and there's someone in your back, it's also gonna give you some warning. So um, not a lot of cars have this one. So that was a really good one to have as well. Parking assist, this is a really good one to have. I always have this one on. So when I'm parking, um, I, I live in a townhome uh, where my garage is very tight. So uh, I always need to have this feature on. Um, when I drive in, um, I have all my sensors on. What it does, it'll start beeping. And then so the closer you get, uh, the more it beeps. So there's um, 
it's gonna also show you on the dash. So it's gonna have two bars. Uh, it's gonna actually sorry, it's gonna have a one bar, two bars, three bars. So when you're at three bars, you're, that means you're really close. You're about to touch the object. Uh, so uh, very good to have, and that works both in the front and in the back bumper. This is the intelligence clearance sensor. Um, what this is, so you go to a grocery store and then you pack your groceries, you put them in the trunk, and then you are reversing from your parking lot, and then all of a sudden somebody you know is walking or somebody drives by. What it's going to do is going to start beeping. Uh, very similar to your park assist, but this is more for um, when you're backing out. So really good to have. And then this thing also will break for you if something uh, comes um, straight at you or. Um, somebody's walking or driving by it'll break for you so those are really good features now again these features only come standard on a 2017 um, and up um, I gotta say uh, when we were in market for a 20 um, I guess not a 2017 but when we, were, when we were in market for this particular model so from 2016 and up uh, the RX 350 model uh, when we came to the dealer the guy told us he's like I recommend you guys get in the 2017 um, 2017 comes with all the center features and um, and then so we were uh, getting ready to buy it but man the prices were so expensive and so we started asking why are you guys the prices are so expensive they're not you know even a pre-owned or a new car is pretty much the same price he said you know what the reason why these are expensive because this car has a zero fatality rate and you know honestly when I was like when I heard that I was like are you sure I'm like that just that sounds um that sounds pretty crazy like for and he, when he said that, he said all RX 350 models. Um, actually, not 350, but just all RX models. So it could be RX 300, 350, uh, 400s. The, he said they all have uh, zero fatality rates. And you know, um, I didn't believe it at first, but I came home and I did some research. I Googled it. And in fact, that is true. Um, these past few years, uh, the, yeah, obviously there's accidents, but as far as fatalities, there has been none. So look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. Overall, really good car. Um, highly recommended. Um, so yeah, uh, let us know what kind of features you guys think we missed. Uh, maybe there's something that I do not know about. Um, please leave in your comments below. Uh, we'd be more than, more than happy to um, share those as well. Uh, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching our video. We do appreciate it. Uh, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.